Dude, you say yeah. you're this big Sega fanboy. Where is all your stuff? Dude, I have a ton of Sega stuff. Show me. Okay. Virtual Racing for starters. My newly acquired Sega Super Hang On. Golden Axe. Outrun. Let's go inside. I have way more Sega stuff. Afterburner. I got a Sega Nomad. I don't know if this counts, but this is a Sega with a JAMA device on it. I have two inbox Genesis. The random Sega controller. Oh, trust me, I have so much Sega stuff, dude. Don't question my Sega love. Right here in the living room, I have the sought after and really cool and very dusty Sega CDX. It's one of my favorites, by the way. I even have Sega in the bathroom. Sega while you're taking a dump, boom. This man thinks he's Sonic. Run faster, Ralph. Run faster! Sega Saturn, Clone Sega, another Sega Nomad. Clone Sega, Sega CD, Sega th <laughs> Shit, Sega 32X. I know I have more Sega stuff than that, hold on. Sega Master System. There's actually more Sega in here, but I'll have to dig for it later. Sega Dreamcast. One, two, three, four Sega Dreamcasts. Actually, I think I have a fifth one somewhere. This is a Sega Model 2. It's like sort of a clone console from China. It does count because it is running original hardware. Sega Genesis Mini. I forgot about this. The Sega Mega Drive Mini 2. So I think I have another Sega Model 1 Genesis right here. Boom. Another Sega Dreamcast. The Mega SD Analog's FPGA-based system, probably my best and favorite way to play on a modern display. Oh, there's more stuff. I have one more thing, and it's actually very rare, and you do not see this very often, but we're gonna have to go to my storage unit for it. Okay, I know what's in here. It's very, very rare. You don't see these ever. Um, actually, if this counts, that's a Sega House of the Dead PCB. And, hold on. Oh, where did it go? Can't see it, but shoved back there is a Sega House of the Dead 2 PCB. So that does count. All right, where is this thing? It's a very rare item. What the hell is this? All right, so, oh, here it is. Okay, ignore that. Oh, okay, you probably have never seen one of these before. Many people probably haven't. This is the Pioneer. It's a laser disc player. And it came, it was called Laser Active, and it came with a Sega Genesis and Sega CD module you put inside here. So you could play uh, Sega CD games, Sega Genesis cartridges go in right here, and you can see it natively supports the controllers. This is a very rare item. These go for like 1,000 to 1,500 just for the module. And there was a TurboGrafx-16 module as well, and a couple others. So kind of cool, super rare, and you do not see these very often. I'm out of breath, man. That's all things I have that are Sega. I have a lot of Sega stuff. I loved Sega ever since the Sega Master System. The Genesis was one of those systems that was very, very like, memorable to me because it was the first time I felt like if I was playing Golden Axe in the arcade, I could play it at home. Or Altered Beast in the arcade, I could play it at home. And it wasn't one for one, but to me, in my mind at that time, it really was. And then of course, we didn't really get, to me, 100% accuracy till you got to the Sega Dreamcast, which is a really underrated system in my opinion, and it's unfortunate that Sega doesn't make hardware anymore. But anyways, I'm sure there's other Sega games that I want. I'd love to know what Sega games you like, arcade, console, or otherwise. Put it in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you on the next one. This man thinks he's Sonic. Run faster, Ralph. Run faster.